we have come to the moment of painting our leaves. And our first step in painting leaves is going to be creating green. And I'm just gonna encourage you to use some blues and yellows. We also have this really lovely um, teal blue green color. So make sure you have a scrap of paper to test on. I always try to get my original drawing out of the way. And this is what that teal green looks like all by itself. So uh, that's, that's a little bit too blue for um, my taste for leaves. So I'm gonna make sure that I add a little bit more of a yellow. Cleaning off my brush. Oops, there we go. Cleaning off my brush and getting a little bit yellow. That's a vibrant green. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. I'm going to take my spoon and get some of that water. I don't like wasting paint. So, and I'm actually pulling some blue. I used a, a dish that I had with blue in it earlier, from an earlier part of the project. And there, it's a nice green. Let's test that green. Mm -hmm. But you know what? That's actually a little too watery because I want this color to have a little bit more um, saturation because we um, painted the sky across the entire piece of the paper. And so we are going to need to have thicker paint. If it's too watery, um, I don't know if it's too watery, I don't know what'll happen. Let's see, do I like, oh, that's a nice color. Yeah. Okay, so you guys find the, the blue, green, yellow, green, whatever color green speaks to you for your project. And again, I think it might need to be a little bit more uh, viscous, a little thicker, vis viscosity meaning relating to how thick something is. So I think it might need to have a little bit more and I'm going to check and make sure that you guys can see in the camera. Okay, great. So you probably can't see those leaves. I can see those leaves. And I'm just going to go and paint leaves. And the leaves can be different shapes. Because we're seeing leaves from different angles. You can put leaves where you have not drawn. Again, you can just be spontaneous. And for me, my tree feels very much like a spring tree. So I'm trying to get it to have a little bit of a spring feeling, which means a lot of leaves. And I might actually go through the tree and put some of this color in. And I was just feeling the inspiration to maybe go in with a, a leaf that's a little bit more yellow green. So I'm gonna put these in. And now I actually am feeling, you know like the, the yellow, the yellow green that comes out in spring? That color is really a happy color for me. So I'm gonna put that in here and play a little bit more with a spring, a spring green. I wanna make sure 
make sure that I don't put any blue in that yellow. Ooh, you know what? I don't know if you could see what I was doing. I'm gonna try that. It's thicker and I'm gonna, it's a little bit harder to see. But you can see that I'm not, there is no right, there is no wrong, it's just getting in there and feeling what feels right. And you know, my color right here has a variety of greens and I kind of like that too, so that no matter where I dip in, maybe I'm getting no tree is exactly the same. So maybe some leaves are a little bit darker. Yeah, that feels like a spring green to me. And I just want an abundance of leaves. And you know what? They, we can do some uh, those kind of shapes and we can even just sort of dot some green in too. Not too much because we want to still see that beautiful sky. So just a very simple shape for the leaves. And you can see here, oh, maybe you can't see here. <laughs> Do it again. Um, that I have some leaves in an area uh, where there isn't even a branch. So I, it, I don't need to connect my leaves directly to a branch at all. Okay, friends, I wanna apologize because the camera ran out of space and it stopped. So I left you off with some of the petals done, but really I was just replicating the same process all the way around. And I really do like the lighter uh, petals in here. And I'm actually thinking um, these are a little bit, um, mostly dry and I'm just getting a happy face about maybe trying something is to just take a little bit of the lemon yellow it's just a, such a sunshiny color and just bringing it just just tickling it onto a few of these petals and it's just I'm gonna zoom in a little bit, so maybe, oh, I'm actually zoomed in pretty good there. I'm afraid to zoom in more because you'll end up missing, because I'll forget to move the paper so that you can see it. So I'm just putting a little bit of that yellow, not much, I'm not putting much at all, but again, it just makes it a little bit more spring. And I'm kind of being really sloppy about this. This is one of these times where we don't want to be too precise. It actually is going to feel more like nature if we're a little sloppier. Um, I'm just dotting these colors in because when we look at a tree, we don't see all these like individual leaves. Ooh, I'm liking being kind of messy. Yeah, I am. So I'm not exactly even going right on the leaves. I'm just being a little messy. And then you'll see what I did too, is I decided to add some grass, which was not in this first one. And this first one you'll see kind of looks barren, doesn't it? I mean, 
I know we really liked that mandala, but I think that adding the grass is adding just like a freshness. And so I put a little bit of the light green in, a little bit of the dark, and now I'm going in and putting in a little bit of yellow. Mm. Yeah, that feels like summer, doesn't it? Okay. Mm -hmm. So our next one, here we go. That's a summer tree. Our next uh, step is gonna be to do the outside and we'll do a salt technique. 